Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to episode 10 of Studio Time with Riles. To celebrate 10 episodes today, I have no idea what I'm about to make in this video. I'm just gonna go in with no particular inspiration, no idea. Just gonna go in, have some fun. I feel like making some music right now. So yeah, without further ado, let's make some music. Let's get straight into it. Alrighty, number 10. Let's get into it guys. Uh, like I said, I have no idea what I wanna make. I literally, Wanted to just make some music tonight, and I'm like, shit, might as well film it. So yeah, let's just browse some sounds. Let's try to get inspired. Let's make something. I feel like this could make for a cool bass. Uh, let's see what else we can get going in here on this fine Saturday evening. This is a really weird sound. What if we just get weird tonight? I just play this on the keyboard, but so a rhythm like this. This could kind of work as a break lead too, honestly. Um, I want to go ahead and add some delay here because I feel like if this was super spacious, it'd be cool. Add some reverb. And then we'll compress the sound. Sure, why not? I think maybe that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to make something that's just really weird, just so that we can have a little bit of fun tonight. For this 10th episode, let me get one of these in here. Getting very weird in here. I like it. Let's get some. Uh, let's get some chords going or something. I would like to make this darker though. So what if we bring it down to like D? Sh yeah, just D actually. Okay, now I'm starting to get an idea in my head. So what if like the drop followed that mean? You know this weird sound, whatever this sound is. Uh, if it followed like the sort of same melody, but it was plucky and played a faster rhythm and the drop was aggressive I think that could be cool potentially. So for the next section, I'm thinking we introduce like a cool atmospheric uh, Like counter melody or something This sound could work and then we'll add a ton of processing here. So we'll do focus one we will really add a lot of compression and drive so focus drive lower the output then we can do like origin we'll eq out some of the lows and then what we could do is add a lot of reverb we'll do super massive i like the way it sounds with uh realm or room however you pronounce it underneath it as well so let's start trying to write a counter melody So I actually like this little melody we got going. Let's move towards the drop now. Let's just try chopping this quick chop tool. Yeah, in my head, if it's just like boom, 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 boom. Yeah, I kind of like this sound as a layer. And then we'll introduce my like, claps. I want to add more layers to this, uh, you know, weird pluck thing I got going on here. So if we have a transient layer, we can have a layer that has more tonality to it. I want to add some distortion to it. We're going to do Camel Crusher because that will give it some good transient. Okay. <laughs> now, really weird, but... Feel like I can make this work. What if we go back to that bass sound from the beginning? Oh God, I didn't mean to do that. Damn it, I forgot how to get rid of this. Uh, whatever, I don't really care right now. Hmm, surely that'll sound good.
This is crazy. Hold on. <laughs> Try playing around the length of these. Yeah, that's starting to sound pretty cool. Let's try layering this. I feel like if we just get a cooler transient, this could make for a cool drop lead. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, that's cool. And then we just need a white noise layer. Let's just do an init preset. Noise on. Turn this off. Let's adjust the envelope a bit. Inside of Serum itself, we could EQ it a bit. Okay, let's add some more layers to the base. Wait, this is sick. I need to cut out the sub. Let's add a distortion to this too. Huh? Okay, now we're getting somewhere. You know, what if we did more of a groovy drop instead? Okay, yeah, it definitely sounds bouncier like that. Let me get some drums in. Let's take this hat loop and then let's put it on top of the kick, almost like a mini ride. Yeah, why not? Okay, maybe my whack Tom idea isn't gonna work. I think it'll be more beneficial to just follow the groove. Let's get some noise in here, like some little noise stabs. I have this weird run for my track, Midsummer Nights. This is cool. I feel like this drop could use like some ambience um, in the background, just filtered. Okay, so I'm thinking actually we changed the initial weird sound. Uh, from the beginning that we had a few moments later. All right guys. I'm back. I got some Oreos I didn't even tell y'all that I was leaving, but I had to pee really bad and I'm starving. I haven't eaten In a long time. Okay. Now wait a minute after taking a break getting some water getting some Oreos This is actually kind of cool. No bullshit um, I'm gonna take this more seriously now that we have an idea and let's actually spruce it up and make it into uh, an actual like Good sounding EDM track. All right. So firstly this little ambient thing we have in the drop I want it to pitch up and down a lot more. I'm gonna use vinyl for that. Get some OTT. I love some stabs as well. You know what, actually? Maybe the little white noise shot will act as a stab. I'll just get like some cool percussion that we could throw in here. Yeah, the heat house room I think would be good here. Yeah. Uh-huh. Heat house rim works. I like the little double kick as well. I heard that. And maybe let's lower the whole tempo actually. I think 120 might be a little fast. I also kind of want to add a reverse sweep or something like that. Like a small one every single time the melody goes up right here. So. Maybe this one, this one's kind of weird. I think I thought I was gonna crash. 
Okay. Well, FL Studio crashed and I had to resort to my backups because I was not saving. And the last time I auto saved was like five minutes ago. So I'm probably going to lose a little bit of progress. So that's always fun. So what I was trying to do before FL Studio decided to crash on me was get some small sweeps in there. If we do that subtly, I think it could sound cool. Yeah, that's a nice little detail. Okay, so I think maybe, what if we scrap like this initial part, right? We take the drop of leads, we could add a lot of reverb and like some other cool effects, and then that could be the main melody, as opposed to that first initial uh, weird like drone sound that we had in there. Yeah, so something kind of like this. Um, and then we could also just do some more reverb. Get a different Reese in here. Okay, you know what? Scratch that idea. It'd just be easier if I did that separately. So this original sound, which I already got rid of, I'm gonna um, use this as like the main lead sound. Try a different bass here for the break. Let's get some claps going here. <laughs> oh my god, this is so weird, but listen, I'm having some fun. Hopefully you guys are enjoying as well, but um there's a Koyu build that would actually sound good in this little section here. I think it's this one. All right, let's sustain this bass, create a little buildup. And maybe adjust the movement slash wobble on that uh, on this like counter melody. Or what if actually? What if we introduce the bass groove here? <laughs> Wait, this direction is actually kind of cool. Um, let me get some like sweeps and impacts and stuff. Okay, so I got this little riser in here. This sounds good. I want to automate the bass here for the build. We'll actually use Endless Smile here since it's a main part of the build. I like that it's side chain in the build. Let me take it without. Yeah, no, I feel like it needs to be side chain in the build. I want to add some R bass on one of the bases here in the drop. There we go. Get it to sound fatter. And I'm actually going to turn off the R bass in the build up. I don't want the build up to have that much sub, pretty much. So get some reverb going on these claps. Okay, here's the deal. I like the build, I like the drop. I really don't like this break though. So I think we're gonna just completely chalk this idea. I do like the, like, the counter melody. I like when the drums come in. The drop is actually nasty. Okay, let's rework this. So the bass, let's get just my favorite Reese in. We're gonna add some distortion to it. And then let's just try to make a darker melody.
Yeah, what if we just use this as like the main break melody? Yeah, I like that. Let's get in like some cool vocal element, atmosphere, something like that. And then maybe like make our own vocal chop or, or something along those lines here. And then just to get this idea down, I'm opening up the processing for the vocal atmos I did in Midsummer Nights. Yeah, that's kind of dope. And then what we could also do is bring in the respace slowly. So if we went to the fruit balance, okay. And then I guess this would be like the start of the track in a way. So we'll start um, completely mono and then slowly open up. And then we could also just slowly bring in everything with volume automation. Classic intro stuff. Okay, and then what I like here is if we just did the first little vocal run, we could repeat that through the build. I also wanna get the chords that we had earlier. I'm not sure how I'm gonna edit this, um, because basically I'm scrapping that whole initial break. But anyway, these chords were from like the first idea, which it's a good sound. Um, and I think if we bring the new melody, it'll sound good. So let's make some chords. Let's try. You know what, here, maybe we'll do uh, the harmonic minor. Yeah. And then we'll also open the cutoff here. Okay, I wanna go ahead and create a reverse reverb for the drop. So we're gonna record this into audio here. Bring this in the playlist, reverse it. Okay, maybe we'll cut out this part of the Koyu build. What if we did instead of like a pre-drop fill uh, with percussion, we did something weird with like a bass shot. I kind of want to try that. <laughs> I was looking for bass shots and this kind of works well as a stab. Maybe we'll keep this. Mm. Yeah, we're definitely gonna keep that. Okay, so we still need the little pre-drop bass fill. I think our boy Virtual Riot will do us right here. Yeah, maybe this. This is sick right before the drop. I just need to re-stretch it so that it fits better on the grid. And then for the stab, maybe we'll reverse it and have it go into it. Yeah, that's sick. Probably need to cut a little bit of low end out of this since I have really, really big bass sounds. I'm gonna also add another white noise layer on top of this bubble noise that I have down here. Right here in this little gap, we'll have like, uh, we'll have a cool fill. What can we do here? Maybe like a weird vocal thing or something. Here we go again. Here we go. Here we Hi. Hey. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Is laugh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's kind of sick. Let's add an exhaust here for the second half. <laughs> for the second half of the drop, we'll definitely raise everything an octave. If that even sounds good. Okay, so I like when it's raised an octave, and then what we could do is like do a little fake out here where we take out all the drums. Actually, it's kind of harsh. If it's harsh, then perhaps we just filter it down. And then we're also gonna add endless smiles so we get like a drowned out sort of effect. 
and then it'll go yeah it should go back into the normal pitched leads because the other ones are just too harsh Alrighty, let's get some rides in there try adding some shakers in the drop as well I wonder if we do an offbeat ride, if that'll sound better. Okay, that sounds cool. This is a little too hectic though. Let's, let's switch out the shaker for a tambourine so it doesn't sound as hectic. And a little impact for the drop. Okay. Okay guys, I think that's gonna do it for right now. I'm starving, I need water. Um, but this was a lot of fun to experiment and mess around. Let's take a listen from the top. Uh-huh. Why, why is that dope? All right, you guys, I'm kind of mind blown right now because when I was working on that, I really wasn't listening to things as a whole like I normally do. I was just rushing around grabbing sounds like super in the zone locked. I wasn't even really paying attention to the final product I was creating, but listening to it from start to finish, this is actually a really sick idea. This is why I like experimenting and just having these random days in the studio. So overall, I'm really happy with this idea. I'm actually pleasantly surprised with how this came out because at first I was like, oh, this is gonna be really weird and not really sound cool. But to me now it sounds like a modern electro house sort of idea, which I love. I think this is actually really cool. So big thumbs up for me. All right guys, so that's gonna be all for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you're notified the next time I upload. If you guys have any ideas or suggestions on what you'd like to see in the next episode, please be sure to drop them down below. I will be taking a peek and picking my favorite ones. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video.